Hello everybody, it's Barbara and welcome to Pick a Stack Wednesday, best day of the week. Do you have a lot going on? Holy cow. Okay, let's just take a few minutes. It seems like the universe, your higher self, whatever, whoever, um, has plans for you that you might not be aware of. And so sometimes you think you're going to do X, Y, Z on Sunday and then pff, nope, you're not going to that place. You're not going to meet up with this person. You're not going to do whatever. Um, that's been happening to me a lot lately, like especially in the last week um, where I think I'm going to do you know, here's my to-do list. The Capricorn moon in me is like, okay, we got to have a to-do list. And literally can't do anything on that list because it requires me to go here, go there, do this with this thing. We're in Mercury retrograde, like stuff's not working. Okay, you know me, I got stories. So Sunday, it's a nice day. I'm thinking, okay, we're going to get the motorcycle out. And I don't like starting it in the garage because then the exhaust fumes come in here. So I'll push her outside, get everything ready. Nothing. Nothing. She wouldn't start. All these motorcycles are going by taunting me, teasing me. And I'm like, okay, fine. We're not going to do that. I didn't get mad. I just couldn't figure out why. Because um, she was on a trickle charger all winter. So, yesterday, pouring rain, windy as can be, I thought, well, I'm just going to go out in the garage and see if she'll start. Oh, yeah, she started right up. Uh-huh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The universe kind of going, yeah, you're not going to do that today. Here's why. But later you can do it, just not right now. Whatever reason that is, you know, I have so many stories where something like that happened and then later my guide said, well, you were going to get in an accident. We were saving you. So I don't get mad at this anymore. I just go, okay, I'll move on to the next thing on my list. But literally Sunday, I could not do anything on my list. Yesterday, same thing. What in the world? Like, I can't go here. I can't go there. I had healing appointments that either didn't show or canceled. And it's just like, okay, universe, it's almost like we're pawns in a, in a chess game and you're just moving us around um, or not moving us around, making sure we are where we're supposed to be. And sometimes where we're supposed to be isn't over there. It's just, you know, stay home today. Don't get mad at that. The universe is saving you. And isn't that what we all want? I mean, that's what we ask for. Help me, universe. Save me. Well, sometimes save me means stay at home. Um, and then when you go through your list of all these things that you wanted to do and you can't do any of them, you're like, okay, am I just supposed to be? That's what I did yesterday. I just was being. Um... Again, the Capricorn moon part of me is like, no, we need to be doing. But you have to let that go. So I didn't do laundry. I didn't do the dishes. I didn't do any of that stuff. It didn't really need to be done. But I didn't make things up to keep myself busy, which the old me back in the day would have done. Well, I can't do these things that I want to do. So I'm just going to go, okay. Yeah, I'll just do laundry and dishes and, and I'll clean the bathroom just to do. Those days are gone, you guys. We are not supposed to be doing all the time. Our job is not just to keep ourselves busy. No, we're allowed to just be. And if, if being means just laying around watching a movie, that's okay. If it means sitting quietly with your favorite puppy or kitty, and a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and you're just listening to the rain, that's okay. If it means planning a trip, that's okay. Whatever it is, be in the moment. And that's what this has all been leading to is 
We need to be in the moment, whatever that means. Sometimes it means going for a motorcycle ride and sometimes it doesn't. That's okay. Welcome to Pick a Stack. I'm gonna say that I'm off my soapbox, but you know me, soapbox is still there. We're gonna start off with some fabulous gong. If you're new to Pick a Stack, this is what we do here. We've got three stacks or three decks, and we're gonna do a reading off of each one. So you think of an idea, issue, or question pertaining to yourself, your loved ones, or the world, and then you're gonna choose a stack. Stack number one is going to be a reading from the Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. Stack number two is going to be a reading by, from the Tarot of Dragons, and that is Sean McKenzie. Stack number three is from Beyond Lemuria by Izzy Ivy. Today, you get a bonus card at the end from the Archangel Power Tarot deck, and that is Dorian Virtue. So you get a bonus card today. And each stack also has a beautiful crystal, which I will talk about in the stack. So you decide what you want to listen to. I highly encourage you to listen to the whole thing because a lot of times it's all tied together and there's like this bigger message that we all need to hear. I love my new gong. It's fabulous. Okay, before we get started, hang on one sec. So good. Um, that was, a lot of people ask me what I'm drinking. Today it's it's hot water with lemon and baking soda. Really good for the digestion and it actually alkalinizes your system because we do a lot of acid. Um, <laughs> that didn't sound right. We eat and drink a lot of acidic foods and beverages. That's better. Um, and so that actually helps. All right. So if you chose stack number one, you're going to get a reading from the Spirit Song Tarot. And we're going to just talk about the crystals that are here. We've got this big log of selenite. And then we have one of my beautiful dragons here. It was the blue dragon that wanted to help us today. Blue dragon, blue is throat chakra. So what do our fabulous stack number one people need to know today? What kind of message do we have for our stack one people? How are we gonna start off? Well, we're gonna start off by falling on the floor. Okay, we're gonna take all three of the cards that fell on the floor. Let me get this out of the way. And I'm, I didn't say reversals, so we're not doing reversals. Okay. We have the Ace of Shells, also known as the Ace of Water, or the Ace of Cups. So happy new beginning. It is represented by the turtle. The turtle brings his home wherever he goes, right? Our second card is card number 20, which is a major arcana. It's towards the end. 21 is the last major arcana card. This card number 20 is the card of awakening, renewal, enlightenment. It is represented by this fabulous peacock. And we had a peacock a few weeks ago when I was talking about how you know, the male peacock, he, he opens up all his tail feathers so that he appears bigger. And that is a really good thing for us to keep working on is we need to be bigger, dream bigger. Our energy field needs to be as big as it's supposed to be because most of us contract it. And then the third card is the Ten of Acorns, also known as the Ten of Fire or the Ten of Wands. So 
these three cards together for stack number one and the selenite that my guides chose because we have to include that crystal selenite is a cleanser so we've got we need to do a cleansing then we have a new beginning that is happy and it could have to do with a home now home is where the heart is right so does it have to do with a physical house or apartment not necessarily i mean if you're wondering am i going to get this house <laughs> yeah you are here's a new beginning that has to do with the house but remember this is our home as well our, our physical body is our home there's barbara the consciousness living in this body that's barbara's body barbara's vehicle um so this card is talking about this new beginning in your home which could be here um it could be you're taking a class or you're going to take a class and it's going to be an awakening which goes right into the second card of awakening there's something that's either happened or is going to happen very quickly that is going to help awaken something in you it's going to activate something in you um I feel like that eclipse did that. Um, that eclipse helped me with more clarity. I can see much more clearly now with my third eye. Um, my my clairs, you know, claircognizance and, and clairvoyance and all that, uh, they seem to be more on point, quicker, sharper, right? More clarity. Um, so, I also feel like, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, that eclipse was, you know, four and a half minutes long or 10 minutes long or whatever. No, it actually lasts for weeks. And so if you're feeling right now like something's changing, it can still be that eclipse. We're still in that eclipse magnetic field. Um, so if you feel like there's a change going on today, whenever today is, whenever you watch this, um, it can be something out there, not just something in here. Because we, you know, everything is an electromagnetic field. And if you can just imagine a whole room full of bubbles and those bubbles touch, that's like us. Our electromagnetic fields touch with the, the plants and the animals and, and the trees and the, the birds in the sky and and people coming and going and our electromagnetic fields touch the earth's electromagnetic field affects us i mean that that gives us the schumann resonance which is you know the frequency of the earth which i don't think it's been 7.86 in a long time that used to be the average now it's like you know 100 300 whatever Okay, so we've got this new beginning coming. It has something to do with our home, which is either our physical body, could be our consciousness, or it could be a place to live. We've got this awakening card. This new beginning is going to help you awaken. That does not mean woke. That's two totally different things. We don't talk woke crap here, okay? We're talking an awakening. You know who you are. You know who where you're supposed to be, okay? The third card that came out is the Ten of Acorns or the Ten of Wands. Now, this is fire energy. This is lots of fire energy. This is, it's kind of a masculine energy. So, you know, right side is your masculine side. This is, all this great stuff is coming to you, but you have to be responsible. You know, this is like the 3d part of the world and this is the 5d part of the world and you can have one foot in each that's how i live it can be a little confusing sometimes because i'm not sure if something's really there or if it's in 5d and it's like okay i don't know if what i'm seeing or hearing is real i mean 3d but it's okay it actually makes life a lot of fun so whatever's going on with you it may seem complicated. 
That's what I just heard. It, it's going to feel complicated. But you know what? It's like pieces of a puzzle. You're getting more pieces. Like this new beginning could be you get to see the big picture. But might it might be there's still pieces missing. And that's okay. You know, if you're working on a puzzle, and let's say it's a 500-piece puzzle, and you've got 197 pieces done, but you have to go to bed, okay? The puzzle's still going to be there tomorrow. I mean, unless you have a cat. And well, in which case the puzzle will still be somewhere. But it's done as much as it's supposed to be today. And tomorrow you can work on it again. Or you can let it sit for a week. Whatever it is. We are exactly where we're supposed to be. Things are exactly the way they're supposed to be. For right now. Tomorrow it can be different. Next week it can be different. So, new beginning having to do with your home or temple. The awakening. Something's going to... I can just see it. Like, my guides just showed me, like, you're out at a campfire ring. There's no fire yet. And somebody just struck the match. But they haven't lit lighted the fire yet it's like right there so whatever this is it's it's so close but we still have to be responsible so you know we still have to keep the fire within the ring we can have a big bonfire let's just make sure that you know we keep it under control so we don't burn the whole neighborhood down so that's your stack number one now remember we had the the selenite for cleansing so that's a reminder, too, that before we have this new beginning, we have to make sure we cleanse the old. Get rid of the old. Let it go. Guys, everything in your past is in your past for a reason. It laid the foundation for today, but you don't need to hang on to it. Okay? Let go of that old baggage. You don't need it. That was stack number one. Okay, let's move on to stack number two. If you chose stack number two, we are going to get a reading from the fabulous dragons. What do the dragons have to say to us today? What do the dragons have to say to us today? Oh, I have to show you the crystal that is part of stack two. Okay, we're going to go with the one that fell on the floor. I think it's just one. Yep, we're going to go with that one. In stack number one, we had the Ace of Cups, right? Or the Ace of Shells, the Ace of Water. In stack number two, guess what? Same card. Ace of Cups. New beginning. Watery. Watery beginning. Now, interestingly, yesterday it poured and poured and poured all day long. We had thunder. We had lightning. We had little rivers running down the streets. Lots of water. And when I was looking outside at it, I asked if this was a cleansing, if it was part of a cleansing, and I got a big resounding yes. Yes, this is part of a cleansing. Water can be very cleansing. Water can be very emotional. Um, think of tears. It could be tears of joy or it could be tears of sadness or grief, or whatever, but tears, that's water. This, this card, it's funny because it's, it's this dragon 
breathing not fire but like steam on an egg in a nest and what comes out of the egg is this golden cup new beginnings new beginnings whatever you asked about there's a new beginning coming and I'm kind of getting goosebumpy all over um, because you know yesterday I was asking okay what's going on like so many people are just joy I'm gonna use your word glum people are glum like we all feel something coming okay we all feel a big change we don't know what it is anybody who says they know what it is they're full of crap um, because this is divine we are going to have a divine intervention Maybe it includes water. I don't know. But water washes away so much. Look what it does to stones, cliffs, um, embankments, you know, rivers, lakes, oceans. Look what water can do. It flows with the moon, right? We talk about ebb and flow. The moon moves the water. So if there's something watery coming in, my guides are saying pay attention to the moon. Okay? Think the full moon, next full moon is in Scorpio. Scorpio is a water sign, and we have a full moon in a water sign. And the motto of Scorpio is still waters run deep. So this is an opportunity to go deep. What are your dreams? What are your aspirations? Go big. Remember at the beginning of this, I talked about expanding our, mag our electromagnetic fields. Go big. Think big. Um, new opportunities are coming for you. Now, what's interesting is the crystal for stack number two is this fabulous geode. I'm just going to put it way up here. Chock full of sparkles. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, there's a little rainbow. I call these unicorn hearts because if, if this were the heart of a unicorn... I feel like that's exactly what it would look like. Yeah. This is an amplifier. This is an amplifier of emotions and energies and electromagnetic fields. And we have this new beginning. So, whatever you were asking about, there's a new beginning coming for you. And I need you to think big. I give you permission to think big. You don't need my permission, but you've got it. Okay, because here it comes. And I'm listening to this too. Okay, I'm ready for that big new beginning. I don't know what it means. I have no idea what the next chapter of my life, eh, of my life looks like. You might. A lot of people have been coming in the last month or so and telling me they're quitting their jobs. They're, they're, long-term relationship has ended um, or they ended it or somebody ended it or any other big life changes. Lots of people are talking about this. I've had several people come in and say, yeah, I'm selling everything and I'm going to travel. <laughs> wow. Yay you. That's awesome. So whatever's coming, it's going to be big. And when you get an opportunity, this says take it, okay? So if something comes to you and you're like, well, I don't know. Yeah, do it. That's what that card says. Do it. Okay. That was stack number two. literally play.
play this all day. <sighs> Good stuff. All right, I need some more. All right, ready for stack number three? Beyond Lemuria. Okay, Lemurians, what kind of message do you got for us today? I did not bring my glasses. <laughs> I should just leave a pair over here. Then somebody would bring them up to me and say, hey, somebody lost their glasses. <laughs> yeah, that was me. All right, Lemurians, what do we need to know today from you? What do we need to know today from you? That one, okay. Oh. Card number one. Again, a beginning. So in each stack, we've had a card about a beginning, and this is Earth Star Chakra. The Earth Star Chakra is below our feet. It is just like the name says, it connects us to the earth. Um, so that electromagnetic field where we end and the earth begins, where they meet, that's where we're talking. All right, let's see if we can find card number one, Earth Star Chakra. Oh, and my guide said, don't forget the crystal. So this is a sphere, and this is a zebra geode. So it's black and white. It's all about balance. Earth Star Chakra. Let's move that over there. Earth Star Chakra. You are standing at a gateway into the unknown with trust in your heart, ancient remembering in your soul, and inner illumination to light the way. You have access to the seat of creation, the spark of existence, and the codes that hold the blueprints of who and what we are. This place is clear and grounded. Despite moving through multidimensional realms, and able to bridge worlds while functioning in physical reality. The higher you reach for the divine and the realms of spirit, the more important it is to anchor deeply to the earth. I always tell myself, I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am the bridge between 3D and 5D. So you have to be grounded to mama earth so that you can reach up. Now, sometimes this means we're doing this individually, and sometimes we're doing it as a couple. So a lot of couples out there, a lot, have one person that is very grounded. I call them the boulder. And the other person is out here floating around. Woo! But they're together. They're tied together. One needs to be grounded to 3D. That's the boulder person. And one can fly around. Now, if these two split up, the boulder is usually the one that's kind of okay because you know they're a boulder but the flighty one needs to find somebody else to tie them their cord to okay because they can't they can't just float around they'll float off so if you're the one that's out here maybe you need to learn to ground yourself to mama earth okay and if you're the boulder person the 3D, got your feet set in concrete. You need to let go once in a while and just rise up a little bit. I mean, there are stones on this planet that move. You know, in the deserts, there's those moving rocks. So there are rocks that move. You can move once in a while, okay? We can meet in the middle. Um, so explore clearing meditations self-energy work, and put intention into the meaningful parts of your life. 
find ways to balance your life. Balance. That's what this crystal is all about. Balance. Be aware of the times of day that are more conducive to different states of consciousness, such as flow, meditation, and productivity. For example, I am much more apt to get things done in the morning than in the evening. Um, to me, the evening is just this winding down period. And it's not when I feel my most creative. It's not when I feel my most <laughs> the ability to clean the bathrooms and, you know, do laundry. I want to do all that stuff in the morning. I want to get it out of the way and, and be done because that's when I have that kind of energy. So pay attention. Now, also pay attention to what you eat and when. So I'm more apt to do snacky foods in the evenings than in the morning. In the morning, like, I haven't even had breakfast yet. Um, I try not to eat breakfast until, like, 10, 30 or 11. Because my body really doesn't even want it. I pay attention to it. And like today, my body's like, mm, yeah, we don't want any food right now. Mm -mm. No, you can have something later. And it's going to be light. Okay? Um, but pay attention to what your body actually needs. I've talked about this in many videos that we eat because it's that time of day. Because we're bored or because of emotions. Those... Those aren't good reasons to eat. If it's 8 o'clock in the morning and you're used to eating breakfast every day at 8 o'clock in the morning, pretty soon what happens is you only eat at 8 o'clock in the morning because it's a routine, not because you're hungry. Shake it up once in a while. Don't eat till 10, 30, or 11. See what your body says. Mine says, yay, we like this better. Um, so... This card talks about this oneness and collective consciousness. Um, but dealing with the 3D and the 5D, that's where we are. That's where we are right now. We have, some of us, have one foot in 3D. I got to pay my bills. Um, I got to pay my mortgage. I have to drive to the grocery store and get food for me and my fur babies. Um, I have to do that 3D stuff. The rest of the time I'm out here floating around. I'm I'm meditating and I'm having way more fun with my spirit guides out there than a lot of times I do in 3D. Because, you know, this 3D world is like, eh, not so fun right now. So where's your fun? If it's out there, that's totally okay. But just remember, you still got to pay bills and whatever in this 3D world. So, Earth Star Chakra. One of the best things you can do for yourself is earthing. If you can, take your shoes off and go stand in some grass. Now, you know, I'm saying that and, uh, yeah, I haven't done that in a while. I know I need to do it. I have big potted plants in here, though. Sometimes I just stick my hand in the dirt. Yeah, I know, I'm weird. I embrace that. That was stack number three. Remember, we have a bonus card. So hang on. Don't go anywhere. All right. Let's get a bonus card from the Archangel Power Tarot card deck. Now you guys know I don't pick the cards. I don't. I don't pick the the background. I just turn myself over to my guides and I say, okay, what do you want today? And it's funny because the theme. There's always a theme in the crystals. It was sparkles. People are being glum today or this week or whatever. We need sparkles. Okay. So then they picked part sparkles. Yay. I mean, how can you not? Oh, that's just glorious. All right. We need a bonus card today. What do you got, Spirit Guides? What you got? Oh, we have a king. King of Gabriel. The king of Gabriel. Very 
earthy, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. It says, keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Now, the king doesn't care about how things get done. The king is up here and says, get it done, right? The king also has experience. Um, the king also has concern for his people. He's compassionate. Well, at least a good king is compassionate. He cares about his people, but he's seeing things from a higher perspective. And that's what I'm getting for this card from today's experience here. We need to see things from a different perspective. We've got new beginnings coming in, right? New beginnings, stack one, stack two, and stack three. And this is saying, see things from a higher perspective. You are the king of your kingdom. It doesn't matter, masculine or feminine. The, the king is, is the highest um, level, the highest position. The king oversees everything. The king says, okay, spirit guides, I'm ready for my new beginning. I'm ready for my new beginning. Thank you for making it easy, graceful, blissful. Thank you for making it healthy and wonderful. Thank you for bringing me whatever it is you want to bring me and all the resources I need to be the person that I'm supposed to be and do the things that I'm supposed to do. But see things from a high perspective, okay? That is your bonus card. That is today's pick a stack. sending you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things. Because I know you're worthy. I know you deserve it all. I know it's safe for you to have it all. And I know you want it. So have a blessed day, my beautiful.